Well, after what has been a rather miserable few days as a Manchester United fan, it's nice to say that we're now back on track in one sense or another. Um, not really got too much to say tonight, to be honest. I'm happy with the performance. We've got the win. It's a game where essentially everyone's done their job. And, you know, I wouldn't say anyone was spectacular. Nottingham Forest have essentially let us win this game and more than likely win this overall tie because... Quite frankly, if we lose a 3-0 lead at home in the second leg, I feel like there should be some sort of forfeit for me to do. So let me know in the comments what forfeit I should be doing if Nottingham Forest are able to turn this one round. But um, yeah, like I say, there's not really too much to talk about. Uh, like I say, everyone's done their job. Martinez was, in my opinion and in Gary Neville's opinion and the sponsor's opinion, Man of the match, he did his job the better than anyone else, getting on the ball from defence, playing passes through to midfield, even a few up to the forwards as well. One near enough every single tackle he went into tonight. He was, like I said, probably the best player on the pitch. Other than that, yeah, just solid performances all round. But really, you have to just question what Nottingham Forest's plans were. I spoke about it the other day, about what was Eric Ten Hag's plan against Arsenal. The only real talking point tonight is what was... Steve Cooper's plan for Manchester United because the players for Nottingham Forest just didn't look up for a game tonight. Marcus Rashford's goal after five minutes, a good goal nonetheless. He's picked the ball up in his own half, ran through three or four players and tucked it nicely past Wayne Hennessy. But you would think better defenders would have been able to deal with that chance. And then obviously from there, Veghorst takes his goal. We'll talk about Veghorst in a moment, and that second goal killed off the game. Near enough killed off the tie. Second half, Nottingham Forest offered near enough no threat at all to David De Gea in the second half. And nicely done at the end of the game. Great ball from Bruno Fernandes to Palistri. Fantastic tackle from Nico Williams, by the way. But it dropped to Alanga. Lovely little dink pass to Bruno, who on the half volley drilled it into the bottom corner. And it finished 3-0. My... Only real complaints tonight were how we defended in the first 30 minutes. I feel like I have a justification for it. It's the first time that Lindelof has played with Casemiro. We know that Casemiro really struggles to speak a single word of English. So I reckon there were just a few communication issues between Casemiro and Lindelof in those first few minutes of the game. Obviously, when he plays with Varane, they talk to each other in Spanish like they did when they were at Real Madrid. So they have an understanding. They can talk to each other much more comfortably. Whereas Lindelof and Casemiro, they don't have that sort of level of communication yet. So I think that's where the gaps were appearing. And obviously, we were quite lucky to get away with a potential goal, but it was obviously ruled out for offside. In my opinion, that was really good defending by Lindelof. He held his line and made sure that Surridge was offside. That was really the only real threat all game. De Gea had to make a couple of saves from some long shots, but not really put into any serious danger. And second half, after we got that second goal, like I said, it's almost like Nottingham Forest gave up and we were able to control the game from there. So I'm not going to complain about that. Like I said, everyone did their jobs tonight. My only other complaint is in regards to Woot Weghorst, it's not a complaint at Weghorst. I think he had his... Best performance in a Manchester United shirt so far, albeit against the worst centre-back partnership he's come up against in the few games he's played so far. But my only complaint is I don't feel like we're giving him enough service because I thought he looked really sharp tonight. His movements off the front, getting in, we've seen that in his first few games. He's all right at getting on the ball, playing little passes. You saw him involved in that chance that Anthony really should have scored, but hit straight at Hennessy. Um, those little bounce passes that he plays, he's been really good at that. He was even playing some more expansive passes out to the wide players, getting Rashford and Anthony involved more in this game. But what disappointed me is that he kept getting into these really good attacking areas, areas where I've been crying out for a Manchester United player to be for the last few months with, obviously, Ronaldo not playing and Martial not getting in those areas. When we play Rashford up front, he doesn't get in those areas. Tonight, Wood Redcourse was getting in those areas. You saw that with the goal that he scored. It takes a sharp mind and a good striker to be that reactive in that position, but that's because that's what he does. He is a poacher, but he's also a good bounce-off player. He gets in the right positions. He gets in goal-scoring positions, and I would say a good 10, 15 times tonight, Val Redkors got in a good attacking position. The ball never came to him. The only time it did was right towards the end of the game where Palistri put a nice ball in towards him didn't quite time the header and put it wide, but he made that run across the near post a few times, never received the ball, dropped off into the penalty spot a couple of times, never received the ball, and I think 
Obviously, he's happy to get his goal, but I think he'll feel a little bit frustrated tonight and a little bit let down by the wide players. And I think the problem with that is we rely so heavily on wide players that are a bit one-footed. Rashford always wants to come into his right foot and either have a shot or do like a driven cross. Same with Anthony. He comes back onto his left foot. It's a whipped ball in or it's a shot or it's a pass back. We're not getting people to the byline and putting balls in towards the centre forward. So... That'd be my one disappointment from tonight, from that perspective. I'd like to see us getting more balls into the box for Veghorst, especially when he's getting away from defenders. He struggled to get away from the Arsenal defenders, which, fair enough, Gabriel and Saliba are good defenders, so he struggled to get away from those. But he was getting away from the defenders tonight, and the balls just weren't coming to him. So I'm interested to see how he'd do once Sancho comes back. Sancho, obviously, more naturally suits that right-hand side where he can go out and then put balls in. So I'm very interested to see how they would potentially link up once Sancho is available. But... Yeah, I'd just like to see a little bit more of that. I feel like when Rashford and Anthony cut inside, they're both pretty much only thinking about shooting. And that, that might be a combination of them being selfish and because we've not really had a recognised striker for such a long while. So hopefully that can be something we can work on. But the headlines, of course, we're 3-0 up at the end of the first leg of the semi-final. We're basically already in the final, barring a complete total disaster. And what that means is we can go into the Reading game knowing that potentially we can play a slightly stronger team against Reading, knowing that we can now rest a fair few players against Nottingham Forest. So good opportunity to, for us now to secure a place in the next round of the FA Cup against a team that is in the worst form of any team in the Championship right now. Then, of course, the second leg against Nottingham Forest. I will just say right now there won't be a reaction to the Reading game. I am out this weekend, so I'm going to have the football on somewhere, but I'm not going to be able to do a post-match reaction to it. If we do unfortunately draw or lose I'll do sort of like a mini debrief on Sunday on my thoughts but if we do progress as I thoroughly expect us to especially if we can like I say now play a stronger team I don't think I'll do any sort of reaction to the Reading game so if I don't the next time I will see you will be for the reaction to the second leg where hopefully we will be cheering our progression into the next round of the FA Cup and getting ready for a Carabao Cup final. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Drop a like if you have enjoyed this video. I'll see you very, very soon.